Okay, this is Connor Sullivan. Welcome back in Germany. Today I'm actually getting a ride from somebody from Mercedes in Stuttgart to Nuremberg where they're having a DTM race. I'm gonna go out there and this is gonna be a traditional vlog. So welcome to Connor Sullivan vlog style. Today what we're doing, we're going to Nuremberg DTM race and everything in between we're gonna film and let you guys see. Right now I'm just cooking breakfast. When the driver comes, I will let you know. Let's go. I think they're here. See that car? See that Mercedes? Nino's car. Thank you, sir. Good to meet you. And this is where I'm sitting. Look at this. I don't know if I've been in a car this nice. What? What kind of car is this? S class? Yeah. S class. I, I don't know a lot about cars. Thank you. Dude, this is so nice. Look at this TV. Look at these pillows. Ooh. Just like laying back. I feel like I'm in a spaceship of some sort. Okay, check this out. This is for the day. Ooh. Look at that. Alright, check this out. When you open this. Hey. It makes a Formula One sound. Cars racing, that's pretty cool. One of the only times I have tickets before I come to a place. Pass the VIP and onto I guess the DTM track. See what happens today. It should be very fun. My second time at something like this, and I think later today I'll be in a car driving with one of the drivers. Should be fun. Thanks for watching, y'all. On the ride here, I'm gonna figure out everything this car does. <laughs> Is it okay if I push the buttons and stuff? So I'm pushing this from my seat to lay down. So it's pushing that seat way up to the front. This is the first time I've ever experienced something like this. In a car. Oh! Is that what it's for? Okay, nice. Look at that. Leg room to the max. I probably won't stay like this, but it's nice to check out. We're almost there, huh? Five minutes. Five minutes. All right, we're five minutes out. Been a good ride. Let's do it. These guys in the scooters. Living the life. What up? We're here. Me, this is Oliver. He's the one who hooked this whole thing up. He works for Mercedes, correct? Yes. And what is your job in this group? Well, basically I'm the spokesperson for Mercedes for the whole DTM team. Spokesperson for the DTM team. That's, that's a big deal, huh? Yeah. For yeah. Me, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So we're walking in. Look at this. DTM. Is this a track like at Hockenheim or? No, no, no. This is street circuit. So street this is circuit. Completely different than okay. uh, any other track we're driving. Cool. Um, <laughs> it's normally it's a normal street. Yeah. So with cars are driving. The race happened over here. Or? It's right over there. Yeah. Right. We are just a few minutes um, away from uh, the qualifying. Session, qualifying. So. Let's go. Thank you for the ride, by the way. You, you're welcome. This guy hooked up a nice S class, you say? Yes. I had never driven in one of those things. You were sitting in the back one. I was sitting in the back. In VIP style. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect. So now we're gonna experience everything DTM has to offer. You said we're gonna go into the VIP. We go there where normally no one is going. Let's go, baby. In the middle of the action. Let's go. I'm just following Oliver wherever he goes. I go. now into the boxes. Into the box. All right. Straight to the box. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Look at this.
never definitely hooked it up. I was out, I was in the pit watching them put the wheels on. That was a really cool experience. I hadn't seen that before. This is more passes than I've ever held in my possession in any given day. So I think I have access to everything. And like I said, I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna walk into Mercedes-Benz hospitality and do it, do what you do with these things, which is something I don't know, but I'm down to find out and you guys are coming along with the ride. Oh heck yeah, they got the display cars and that's just display motorcycles and display cars. Those are some of the coolest things to check out when you're here. Look at these things. I want to get this uh, motorbike. They had it at the last event I was at. Oof. Ooh. Look at these. Dude, check this baby out. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's money, bro. Is this it right here? Drinks, food. Check out this, yo. They got a VR rig right here. I'm assuming you get to like race a car in there. Yo, I'm about to put a virtual reality headset on and I'm gonna get into a DTM car. That's the beauty of these things. So I just put this on and the earphones? Yeah. See how funny this looks. But now you just see it's a gray, right? Whoa, I see a Mercedes Benz. Okay, and then I just, I, now it's just start? Whoa, this is crazy. So you see the track now? I, I see just the car with the Mercedes Benz. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's driving. Okay, It's crazy. Like I could legitimately lose the fact that I'm in a room right now. That's sweet, man. That's really cool, yeah. I feel like I'm legitimately not here right now. That's good. All right, so I'm gonna do that for real later today. I think I'm gonna go on the track and get a drive. Uh, really taxi drive? Yeah, really taxi drive. Lucky man. So I got I got the virtual one, and now I'm gonna have the real one. Let's go. All right, dude, Matias is the guy who just helped me out with the virtual reality, and he is a Valve Beast Ducart fan, so yeah, he's seen the videos. I didn't know. I'm so jealous about him because he, he waved the big flag. It's yeah, crazy good, guy. good to meet you. Good to meet you. Dude, this is actually a big deal. That's a, that's a cool thing about going to a new event, is that you find out there's a lot of things that people like watching and enjoy that you never previously knew existed. DTM. It's always a very good thing. Look at that, yo. What? I guess some people were looking at me because I didn't have my uh, tags on. I mean, I'm just sitting here, I'm just like, boy, it's packed now. When I first came in, it wasn't as many people. Well, I guess because it's raining, huh? I'm getting an umbrella. This is Chris right here. He's the head of the social media right. for the DTM Mercedes. It's marketing. Marketing. Social media is part of it. Yeah, okay, marketing. He's gone all over the world with Mercedes DTM and yeah, Formula One. Formula One. Exactly. That's awesome. That's awesome. Hey, guys. And then Jessica and Kim. They're actually going to help me, show me around and bring me to where? The grid. Right, yeah. One of the grid. Oh, we got umbrella deliveries. All right, we're going to the grid. Race is about to start. And they still race in the rain, huh? They can't, they can't not race. They just put on different tires. <laughs> so, Got in. Don't need any more to <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're here. We're at the grid now. There's the grandstand. Check that out, though. I'm getting the tour. This is one of your races right here. <laughs> they have Mauro Engel. You look they have, they have different tires. They turn them, they, those they are the, the rain tires. Yeah. All right, they just put the rain tires on. Put the little grooves in them so they can uh, have that, what do you call it, traction. It's nice, bro. They're taking us off now. They started up in the cars, they're gonna get the race going soon. But you see the, Starting lights are actually held by a crane. Look at that. It's kind of cool. And then the grandstand that I was talking about earlier is right there. Crazy to see. Look at I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that guy stood right there. Isn't that crazy? Now we're here for a race. 60, 70 years later. Woo! Let's go. Canadian guy. From Audi. Oh. 
the Champions leader here at the moment. This guy? Yeah. From Germany. Nice. Alright, we're going to the box. We're going to watch the start from the box. How long does the race last? Uh, one hour. One hour? Yeah. One hour. Dang. I didn't know it was that long. Oh, here we are. In the box right here. This is where they come. This, this is where they have the pit stops right here. This little crane like lifts the car up and they go zzz, zzz, zzz. Oh, this is the nice place. These are the uh, the dry tires, right? Yes. Look at that, smooth dry tires. The ones they have on now have grooves. <laughs> See all these lounges behind me? All these lounges are not permanent. They build these in 10 days or a week or so, put them up for the race, and then they tear them down afterwards. It's kind of cool, man. Built some nice things in a very short period of time. Look at all this. Boom. All these things are like tents, pretty much. We got the VV, VV, VIPs. Look at this green one right here. Dang. These are both nice. Dude, check out this bus. It's not that big. Look at how tall that is. They turn this thing into an office and it carries the cars as well. Does yeah. it carry the cars? Yeah. Okay, so this carries the cars. It becomes an office and I'm assuming they have like places to sleep. It looks like a five-star hotel on wheels. Pretty sweet. But my favorite part of every race that if you guys want to see a Batmobile, the real one, carbon fibered out, all black. Let's see. Right here. Right next to the racetrack is actually the soccer stadium of Nuremberg. This is it, man. Every time I come to a city, it's always great to check out their stadiums because, I don't know, I like sports. I don't know if you guys noticed, but right where this entire event is taking place, okay, is a huge stadium. If you've seen the grandstand, the grandstand where all the fans are standing, looking down, watching the race, is exactly where Hitler stood with all of his leaders and the stadium and the surrounding area where this entire event is taking place was a stadium where all the Nazis would gather during World War II. And there's very, very famous photos of this place. I'll show a couple of those. Generally, this was the same thing the Nazis used. It's still here today. I'm standing on it. I'm standing right here right now on the side. And this is where the races occur. And they used to have all these lights. And yeah, so I'm standing like over here. They used to have... Boom, boom. That's when it got liberated. Legitimately, that thing was right up there. You know, I'm, I'm here to check out the place, check out everything, historic, cultural, everything. And I want to have an unbiased opinion, but I also want to bring, you know, the facts. This place is historical, and it's really cool to see things in history. And I'm somebody who didn't grow up during that time period, but I grew up learning about it. So being here, it's very, very interesting, to say the very least. We're gonna continue today. It's been awesome so far. Hope you like the vlog. Boom, baby. Let's go. So all these are for the Porsche Carrera Cup. It's only Porsche race, huh? Look at this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Look at these bikes, yo. You know I love motorcycles and motor scooters, but check out these. That's my favorite. And this one. Whoa. This is nice too. Dude, that would be sick to have a little uh, bicycle. It looked like a bicycle, but then you just gas it up and go really fast. Look at this. Yeah. What is it? It's like a spaceship. Just straight up speed racer mobiles. Speed racer. These are so sick. What? Dang. Want to see a nice car? One of the most expensive cars in the entire world. I think it's a Bugatti Veyron. I'm pretty sure they're $2 million, but I'll put the real price right here. Kind of cool to see it in real life. The only time I've seen these kind of cars are in Floyd Mayweather's uh, Instagrams. 
big baller. Mm -hmm. It's my dream car. I see it everywhere now. That means it has to happen, guys. I'm gonna buy this when I get older. Boy! T minus one year. This is like the ultimate motor home. You park, bring the ceiling up, and take the sides out. Look at this. Get a little closer. I'm telling you, all my friends, we're gonna buy one of these buses, live on it together for like a year, and just travel the world. So you park and it goes and then oh, and then you can have a tent and live somewhere for like five weeks. What's up? Look at this. I'm getting in my Mercedes full gear to get into the car. I thought it was just in my normal clothes, but they do it right because in case of an emergency, I gotta be fireproof. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's get in this. And we'll see how it is. See how fast we go. Three, two, one. Thanks, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. I'm all ready. Mercedes out. Check out the kicks, dude. They give you. They're fireproof. That's what I'm about to look like in the car. Yeah. That's cool. Ready to race. What? Re I'm driving. Yeah. <laughs> all right, man. We're walking. About to get on, but I think I'm first. So I'm the test dummy. So if it crashes, then they, then then I'm the first guy, <laughs> which is good. That's how I like it. So behind me right here are the Audi drivers. So each company, Audi, Mercedes, and BMW, they all have taxi rides at the end of the race for the day. I'm going with the Mercedes crew because that's who Oliver works for, and it should be nice. I'm excited. They're doing bike races right now. I'll show you before I get in the car. And then I think they're gonna have a GoPro afterwards. They're gonna have a GoPro in the Mercedes and that's what you're gonna see when I'm in the car. Myself, like, why you waiting? I don't pay no mind what they be saying. Cause I want greatness. I sell the way, God, if you hate it. I got no patience for all of these other conversations. 